Um, in this video, we're going to start looking at how to perform uh, operations of uh, complex numbers in polar form. So we're going to look at uh, how to add and uh, subtract numbers in polar form. And then in number two, which we're going to do in the next video, we're going to look at how to multiply and divide uh, numbers in polar form. Uh, just uh, as a quick... Uh, pointer um, so to add or subtract numbers in polar form we first have to convert back to rectangular form if you want to put it like that so uh, to add or subtract um, numbers in in polar form uh, so what we do is we we first express in a rectangular form. Um, now we have uh, seen how to do this uh, in a previous video, entitled uh, converting from polar to rectangular. So let's uh, look at uh, the first question. In uh, the first question, we've got. 2 cis pi on 3 plus 4 cis 5 pi on 6 um, so 2 cis pi on 3 4 cis 5 pi on 6 okay um so the first thing we want to do is to convert uh, these two rectangular uh, now pi on 3 so if you want you can convert these angles uh, to degrees pi on 3 so um, the conversion from radians to degrees is just uh, um, done by uh, plugging in 180 degrees for pi so pi on 3 is 180 divided by 3 so that is the same as 60 degrees uh, 5 pi on 6 is going to be 5 uh, times 180 and then divided by 6 uh, 180 divided by 6 and so that's going to be 150 so that's going to be 4 times cis 100 50. So, um, first, uh, so to, to add this, we need to convert these to rectangular. So, this one is going to be 2 into cosine 60 degrees plus i sine 60 degrees, and then plus 4 into cosine 150 degrees plus i sine 100 and 50 degrees then cosine 60 is one half um, so cosine 60 so this is a special angle so like uh, we've said before um, and then if you can I think you want to make sure that you know the uh, sine and cosine values of the special angles like 30, 45, 60, 90. Um, you want to memorize those ones and uh, know them as you work along this course. And then um, sine 60 we're going to find is a square root 3 on 2. Then cosine 150 is going to be the same as cosine 30, but since it's in the second quadrant, it's going to be negative. So that's going to be negative square root 3 on 2. And then the sine is going to be positive 1 half. If we remove the brackets, this is going to work out to 1 plus i root 3 from this term here then we're going to have minus 2 root 3 plus 2i 
we're almost there now so we just collect the uh, real terms are 1 minus 2 root 3 and uh, then the imaginary terms are going to be 2 plus root 3 all times i and so that is going to be um, our answer in rectangular form for question 1a okay at this point we are going to give you an opportunity to have a go at question 1b uh, if you just want to pause the video work through it and then when you continue the video you can compare with our solution okay and um, we're not going to scroll down to our solution for part b i uh, would like to appreciate you for coming to uh, our um, channel and watching this video um, we hope that you find uh, um, the material useful please do not forget to subscribe uh, to our channel and then uh, turn on your notifications so that whenever we post new stuff you can um, get to see it as soon as possible if you've got any questions you can post them in the comment section and uh, please do of course like the video and share accordingly okay so for part b the first thing we're going to do is to expand this so that's going to be cosine 215 plus i sine 215 and then minus cosine 315 sorry 225 here not 215 cosine 315 plus i3 sine 315 then uh, cosine 215 um so sorry 225 again 225 is a special angle so this is uh, uh just one over uh root two uh but uh, negative so again so if you do one over square root two then you can see that uh, uh these two values are exactly the same thing as value in this one here okay so um this is going to be so we're going to have a negative uh, 1 over a root 2 and then it's the same value um, even for the sign um, then take away now um, the um, cosine of 315 Yes, the cosine of 315 is going to be um, so cosine 315 is going to be again it's 1 over root 2 it's going to be 1 over root 2 here and then the sign is going to be negative in the fourth quadrant then when we remove the brackets here uh, this is going to be uh, minus one over root two then this is going to be plus i over root two uh, then uh, i think what you're going to notice is that uh, these two terms are cancelling out um, so we're just going to have two of these and so that's going to be negative two over root two which is simply uh, negative uh, root two um, negative root two all right so that brings us to the end of uh, that video um, so thank you very much for watching